Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Just, oh. Um. Man, okay, so where do we start? Uh, let's start with the most. Let's start with the most important thing. Digivice colon Digivice 2020. It dropped as of I like as of recording this. It dropped a couple hours ago, more than a few hours ago. But as of as you're watching this, um, it dropped yesterday. So currently, as I'm recording this, at least it's not on Japan. You want? They are not stocking it yet. Um, I know Little Siri has emailed them. As of now, I haven't heard of anything of them getting back to her. So. I don't know if they're ever going to stock it. It's kind of weird because usually they do stock on all the Digimon stuff. Like they're stocked on the Shoto figures, both the premium and the normal ones. Um, there's a new like sticker set and some new, I think a new card set too. Uh, all that's stocked up, but for some reason the Digivice colon is not, or Digivice 2020, if you will. Um, it's it's kind of weird. So what I did is I actually ordered it through from Japan. And if you wonder if you're wondering how to do that process, if you're thinking of getting it, you can watch little series video. She like does the whole process and you know very simply does it. So I'm not gonna do it here since she already did it and she did a really good job. So I recommend going and watch her. I'll link her video in the description down below because again, um, it's a really you know. It's not hard to do, but it is somewhat of a process. Um, so, you know, I, I'll, I'll leave it to her because I don't feel like editing and doing that stuff. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm lazy, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm recording this super late, so I gotta like, you know, edit and whatnot. Uh, so you'll, you'll have to forgive me. First of all, I'm sorry. Are you dead yet? Yes, you're dead. Sadly, no egg. Are you dead yet? Yes, you're dead. Sadly, no egg as well. Or maybe it's the... Um, it could possibly be the, uh, what the hell, the Oboromon egg on both of them. Who knows? But, moving on, Digivice colon, what is it, how is it going to work, etc, etc. I have the deets, thanks to With The Will and everyone else who sent me this information. So, it is coming out, and it looks really nice, looks pretty thick and chunky. I am going to assume it's either gonna ha like definitely like I said those two buttons on the side are buttons like those two little sections on the Digivice uh, they are buttons and they do still light up which is great um, I, you know, I had a feeling the technology is there it's not super hard to do um, but I am happy that they you know they did it and that's how it's working I'm, I'm happy about that so um, no no um, I don't know what what batteries it's running hopefully it's uh, two triple A's um, if it's a CR2032, I don't know, because the, the CSA Digivice runs on, I believe, two AAAs, um, for the lights and the sounds. I don't know what the sound is going to be like on this thing. Hopefully they have a high quality speaker and, like, good voice lines and stuff. That'd be cool. Um, but if it's just beeping and booping, uh, even with those LEDs, you're going to need a very strong battery. And I don't think a CR2032 is going to cut it. Like the, the the average you know button cell batteries they use for these guys, I don't think that's going to be enough power because those LEDs look bright. They look just as bright as they looked in the CSA Digivice, um, which I will be comparing this to. If you're wondering, yes, I did order it technically, kind of. I sent again, I used from Japan, and what you do is you like they contact them and they you know kind of be that intermediary and your intermediary for you, and then you pay for it. I haven't paid for it officially yet. So, but I am getting it. So don't worry, I am getting it. I know a lot of people really want me to play this thing. They really want me to buy it. I want to buy it too, don't get me wrong. But, um, you know, don't worry. I am getting this thing because I know it, you know, 90, right now is for, I believe, 8,800 yen, which is roughly 90 US dollars, which yes, that's a lot. With shipping, it's gonna cost like around 100, which again, yes, is a lot. But not only am I getting it because I love you guys, I want you to understand that, but also, uh, I want it. I know I want it, and also, and I know that it's going to cost an arm and a leg in the second-hand market. The Digivices, especially the reissues, cost so much. Uh, and when I missed that boat, I was kind of pissed. Um, you know, the only one I really want overall is the D2, but you know, that's another thing. Um, and you know, this device. 
even though it's for the newest anime, it's it's a Digivice. It's gonna I know it's gonna go for a lot. So I, I'm getting it now because it's gonna cost so much more in less than a year. So uh, yeah, I'm biting the bullet and getting it now because I want it. I do really want it. Um, it looks nice. It looks really nice. Sadly, and they didn't, you know, I feel like they would have mentioned it in these, you know, Premium Bandai, they usually have, like, pictures and, you know, little blurbs about the device itself and how it works and whatever. Um, none of these mention any compatibility to the V-Pets. Like, it doesn't seem like it has a two-prong connector or a connector at all. This thing doesn't even sound like it can connect to other Digivice colons. Um, which is kind of a bummer. Um, hopefully they're gonna like release some app and maybe this can connect to it. But it seems like as of right now, it's its own standalone toy. It is, like they said, uh, kind of a hybrid between the CSA Digivices and the Digivice toys. Uh, which is a cool idea, but I think the execution here is a little flawed because again, the best thing about the Digivices is their compatibility with other devices and itself and cutting that out seems weird to me um it's kind of its own standalone toy which is fine i have lcd toys that are their own standalone things but the ability to connect them i think is always a fun thing and it looks like this might not have it obviously when i get it i will know and everyone will know but as of right now it looks like there's no like hidden compartment or you know hidden prong anywhere which is again kind of a bummer um but again, it looks nice, uh, it does light up, and it looks very gorgeous. Uh, so every Digimon on the device does go up to Mega. Uh, obviously, Gabumon and Agumon are going to be able to go up to Super Mega with Omegamon, or Omnimon. So the way these light up, when in rookie form, it's just going to be, it seems like one solid color. When you evolve into Champion, it's going to... The LED is going to come up clockwise when he evolves into ultimate it's going to be both going up uh, at the same time and then getting to mega it's going to spin which we did see when uh, we saw Omnimon which they also show off which is gonna spin in both the colors just like in the show which is cool I can't wait to see that that's gonna look really cool Because remember when I saw that in the anime I was like I really hope that the, the toy can do that and lo and behold it can um, now obviously this is being released still even though the anime is on hiatus the anime is coming back this week thank god but um, I think they said this anime would have roughly 25 to 40 episodes uh, and it was just gonna be like a one season thing not like an ongoing thing which I'm fine with I don't you know I'm fine with them telling a beginning middle and end uh, something I like about Digimon um, so Lord knows where we're supposed to be at in the anime like i said before i think we're supposed to be somewhere on you know the 10s so i think this is gonna have um stuff from about that far in the series or maybe this is going to cover the whole series in the device i'm really not too sure um i don't know if they're gonna do like another version of this with like like a version 2 that's gonna be like a slightly different color and with more digimon possibly i i, I really don't know um but as it stands, uh, it seems like we're getting all the partners, no word yet on if there's going to be any extras, you know, like on the, uh, on the original Digibice, there was Vidramon from V-Tamer, there was, I believe Wizardmon was on one of them, and a couple others, there's like some extra Digimon you can unlock, maybe this has that and they don't, you know, announce it, not every single little secret is always announced in these things, so... Again, who knows? Um, but obviously, Agumon, Gabumon, Teomon, Palmon, Tentomon, Gomamon, Patamon, and of course, Gatomon. Uh, all here, they all light up in their different colors. Agumon in orange, Gabumon in blue, Teomon in red, Palmon in green, Tentomon in purple, light blue for Gomamon, yellow slash gold for Patamon, and pink, or kind of like a magenta for Tailmon and they all go up to Mega. It seems like all their Megas are the same as their Tri-Megas, so if you don't like that, I'm sorry. I know a lot of people don't like the Tri-Megas. I don't mind them. However, there is, I think they brokered a deal um, 
they uh, decided to give uh, the Tailmon fans what they've wanted for so long, and a lot of people what they wanted for so long. The Mega for uh, Tailmon on here is actually Ophanimon, not Holy Dramon, which is interesting. Uh, so it seems like in this continuity, she does have a different Mega, which makes you think, why didn't they give everyone else different Megas? Uh, you know, go figure. But hey, that's still that's still cool. I do appreciate that. Um, you know, it's cool. I like it. Um, but it is again a strange decision, just considering that you know you could have gotten different stuff for everyone. Um, but it looks nice, and they all look nice. All the sprites appear to be the exact same from uh, this. Like the Digivice kind of screens, uh, which is I think what 30 by 42 pixels, I believe. Um, doesn't seem like there's any new pixel work in here. This all looks like stuff that we've seen in previous devices, whether it be like the XLs or um, you know, those kind of devices. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think most of these have been on a device before. Um, but again, we get those cool uh, glowy lights. I like that. Hopefully, there's some other jaw grasses in here. It'd be cool if they, like, you know. Matt and Ty, you know, they become Omega Mon. Be cool. Other characters can jog rest too. You know, what if Patamon and and Tailmon jog rest and they get be like a new Holy Digimon? That'd be cool. Don't know if that's gonna happen, but you know, whatever. Uh, now they show up. Uh, they show off the way this is gonna work. So there are there's an adventure mode. So this is like a you know a toy. It's a toy you can physically play with. Much like the other Digivices, uh, it seems like there's only 11 areas. Now, I use the word only kind of lightly because I'm not too sure like if the, the 11 areas are going to... I'm pretty sure you can capture the entire series in 11 areas because the version 2 devices, at least the English ones, cover you know the entire series in one device in less than 11 areas. So I think it's possible. Um, and uh, you battle with your partner Digimon. The battle system, it seems like it is a roulette system, which is interesting. So, um, you stop the roulette at a certain point, and that's going to influence your attack, it seems like. Uh, again, very interesting. I wonder if the actual device is going to light up when you're doing that. I hope it does, because that'd be really cool. Um, and then it says... Uh if you beat a specific area, you get a new partner Digimon, so, again, they're showing off only the main partners. Who knows if there's any secrets, because, like, you know, we have eight partners and 11 areas, so that is a few areas unaccounted for, so maybe they might sneak a little extras in there. I do hope so, honestly. Um, and then they show up a picture with all eight colors lit up. It's gorgeous. I love it. Hopefully when you like are in the status menu and you're looking at the Digimon, it lights the uh, device up uh, like this because it'd be cool if you can kind of get it to stay in that lighting. Hopefully there's like a, a mode where you can like a there's like an adventure mode and there's like a mode where you can make it act as if it was a CSA device kind of. You know what I mean? Uh, I'd like that. Um, once again, showing off the different color combinations when it's uh, showing off. Apparently over a hundred characters from Digimon Adventure Colon will show up in the digital world of the Digivice Colon, which make up to 11 areas. Again, pretty cool. Uh, hopefully we get some interesting partner picks. Uh, again, I would love that. You know, maybe... I, I know it was already in the Digivice 15th, but I'd like to see Jessmon. Um, and I'd like to see Hackmon, just because it's the 15th and the 20th. Maybe even the 10th. Let's get Dracomon in there, too, because uh, Corjamon was supposed to... He is really going to show up in the anime. We did see Corjamon Blue uh, in, like, a leak for V-Jump. So maybe, just maybe, they'll be in here. I, I'd prefer that. I'd like that if there's a you know, 10, 15th, and 20th uh, mascot on this device. I think that'd be cool, because this is kind of celebrating a new era and you could throw back to the older era. Um, and that's kind of it. That's all they have for right now. Um, again, no talk about if it's compatible with older devices or even if it's compatible with itself. There's no talk about a battle mode. There's no talk about really anything. And it's it's kind of a bummer. Um, but I'm still excited for it. I'm still going to buy it. So 
Uh, I will let you guys know that though, because there's a chance, you know, I'm not gonna tell you not to buy it, because that, that'd be kind of a dick move if I told you not to buy it, and then it is compatible, and then you guys get screwed out. But just know that if when you're when you're buying this, if you're buying this, there is a chance that this is a standalone device and you won't be able to connect it to your other devices and the rest of your collection. Just keep that in mind. Um, really think about this before you buy it, because uh, it is a lot, and there are other devices out right now that you could be pre-ordering. Um, so you know, it's, it's you're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place if you don't have a lot of money. Um, just keep that in mind. No one asked me if you should or shouldn't because I really don't know. It's all up to you. If you have the money, go ahead. But if you haven't pre-ordered a Pendulum Z, I think I'd go for If you can only get one or the other, I'd say get a Pendulum Z because it's a bit more gameplay. You can connect it with your older devices. Um, you can connect it with people online, via online. You can connect it to World eventually. You know what I mean? Um, the Digivice colon, you don't know anything uh, about it yet still, which is kind of weird because it's going to be coming out. I don't even know. I don't think they gave a, a date when it was coming out. Uh, let me know in the comments below <laughs> when it's supposed to be coming out. I don't remember them saying anything. Uh, so yesterday they said that they were going to be uh, celebrating, what is it, the 25th or 26th VPET anniversary, which is kind of crazy because that means the 20th came out about five years ago. It doesn't feel like it's been five years, but uh, evidently it has been, and that makes me just kind of hurt inside. Like I feel like there's a pit in my chest when I think about that. That makes me feel old, even though I'm not really that old. But anyway, uh, <laughs> Bandai is quite literally shitting bricks. Um, this is a weird announcement. This is a very, very weird announcement. I, I get the idea behind it, but I don't get it at the same time. So let's just talk about this real quick, real briefly. I'll just keep this picture up because uh, this, is, this is really all you, you need to go off of. It's the Digimon 20th. Again, uh, it's called Digimon uh, Digital Monster Version Revival. It is a reissue of the original 20th. So I do have one of them. Uh, this is the red Japanese 20th, or the brick Japanese, brick red 20th, whatever you want to call it, brown. I, I refuse to call this brown, I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, this is the Japanese one. This is the one I bought for five years ago. That just makes me sound, that's, ugh, I don't know, it sounds weird. Uh, five years really does go by fast. They'll tell you that every every day when you're growing up and you're like, shut up, old person. You don't know. Time goes by forever. A year feels like forever. And then a year feels like fucking three months. And you're 24 going on 25 and trying to figure out where you're going in your life. And you're making videos on YouTube. But anyway, it's a reissue. So here's the, the, the original and the new one is going to be brown too. I, it's going to be brown too. There's brown and, and, and gray or red and gray red and blue um and nothing's new about this i'm pretty sure uh they didn't really mention anything about this being different they just said it's a i mean it's called revival so it makes me really think it's going to be a reissue and nothing else the two colors are shown off uh graymon is on one and tyranomon is on the other i don't i think they did that with the first wave too the first version i don't really remember um it's weird. It's really weird. I don't know if this is gonna like. It'd be cool because like this. Think about it like this, okay? Um, let's think about what this could be. Maybe this is using newer technology. That's cool. It'd be using the newer screens, and I th this screen is the best. This screen never scratched on me, not once. And like all my other screens, you know me, they're all scratched. This one never scratched. This device is one of my favorites because of that. It's a really sturdy device. They made this out of some really good stuff. Um, it'll be made out of newer materials, so it'll be made with the screens that they've been using recently, so it might be a bit lighter of a screen. Uh, who knows? Uh, it might have a slightly louder speaker. Again, that's a really who knows thing. They might be using the boards from the English 20ths, which means it will have a way quieter speaker. And I don't like the, you know, the, the screen on the English 20th is great, but the speaker, not so much. Um, and they just, uh, you know, talk about some of the Digimon that are on here. They say it's going to have the version 1, the version 5, so there's nothing really new there. They say that they're going to be the 10th anniversary, 15th, and 20th anniversary Digimon, which are Dracomon, Hakmon, and Zubamon. And those are all on the originals. Um, they show off the new, new evolutions, so the new Megas, which is 
Blitz Greymon, Crest Gururumon, King Edamon, Titanmon, Mugendermon, and then they show off Examon. Again, same thing, nothing new here. Talk about the double raising mechanic. Now here's one thing I hope they do, if this is truly a reissue, if they fix the poop glitch, I am possibly going to get one just for the meme of it. One, poop clip the you know they don't shit as much so that's gonna be great two imagine this right i have the original brown brick red 20th i get the reissue brick red 20th and i get the english brick red 20th because i'm an idiot <laughs> i just think that'd be funny um this one is going for around 38 to 39 us dollars uh so no, it's not worth it because you can buy the English 20ths on Amazon if you're in the West at least or in most places for only $20 or still less than what you're paying for this one. So this is really just for Japanese fans that missed the boat on the first 20th. But then again, you can still get the first 20ths for pretty cheap anywhere. Like I haven't seen them ever since the English ones came out. The Japanese ones have dropped in price. Except for, like, some of the Wave 2s. So, like, it's just, like, a confusing announcement. You know, we have so many bricks now. Especially so many different versions of the 20th now, thanks to the English releases. And so many different colors. They could have at least done something crazy with the colors. Um, or at least just added, like, one more egg or two more eggs or just something different, something new. And instead, it just looks like it is literally just the Japanese Wave 120th again. Um, which is cute because it is the 25th anniversary of the, 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 the V-Pets. And I did say it before, but the bricks are super iconic. But this is just such a, con this is just such a weird thing. <laughs> um, I... I don't know. Um, if these sell well, I don't know what kind of message that's going to send Bandai. I don't know if they're going to do a Wave 2 of the reissues and they'll reissue the Wave 2 uh, devices, the Alphamon, Omegamon, and Zubamon color. I, I don't know. Um, I don't think it's worth it because as of right now, all of those Digimon and all those exclusives you can get now in America because the Wave 3 is most likely going to have Mekumon on one of those eggs. Um, so, yeah, again, it's, it's weird. I don't get it. I get it, and I don't get it at the same time, if that makes any sense. The one thing I'm really the most wrapped up about is the Digivice colon, because I want to know if it's going to have the, um, a connector to connect this to other devices. That initial trailer made it seem like it would, but... And these product photos don't make it look like that. Unless it's like on, in some weird spot on the back of the device. I don't know. Also, is there a belt clip on this damn thing? Doesn't look like there was on the back. That's the one thing. We haven't seen the back. We keep seeing a profile shot of it. You see it from dead on and a profile shot. We haven't seen the back of it. So I don't know if there's going to be a clip. I don't know if what kind of batteries it's going to take. And I don't know if there's going to be like maybe in the back, like maybe right here. I don't, you know, I don't have a good, you know, obviously it's not out yet. So I don't have a good thing to show off. But I have this, this is obviously the original Digivice, but still it's roughly the same shape. Maybe on the back, like here, maybe there's a connector port for the older devices, hopefully. Um, or on the other side. If not, it's probably just gonna be just a battery pack. It's gonna be pretty it's gonna be pretty big. It's probably gonna be two AA batteries. Um, so yeah. Uh, when the twenty was it when the not the twentieth, when the uh, Digivice 2020 comes out, obviously I'll do an unboxing, I'll show it off, I will do a run with it. I love Digivice. It's been a really long time since I played with one, so I'm definitely gonna. I'm excited to have a new, brand new experience with one of them. Um, and you know, I'll show it off if I can connect it to anything. I'll show that off too and show off its compatibility. And I'll also do a side by side comparison between it and the CSA Digivice, which I now own. Thank God, um, that's one of my favorite things I own. Um, but I'll show a, a comparison between the two, how they both light up, and you know, stuff like that. That's it. I'm tired. I'm going to be so extra. I'm going to be extra tired editing this tonight. Um, so yeah, thank you. But you know, with that being said, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching the channel, supporting the channel, supporting me. Huge shout out to my patrons, Casey Joe's Omega Scourge. You guys are the best. Omega Scourge did send me a code. It's a, uh, well, I'll keep it a secret, but he did send me a code to battle. 
not gonna do that today since there was so much news to talk about. But I will fight that tomorrow, and uh, we'll, sh we'll, you know, we'll talk about who it is and whatnot. Um, but yeah, these two are dead. Ready? We're already getting ready for uh, the next hatch. Edamon is still alive. Uh, he's got three camera mistakes, but he's still alive, um, and I'm taking good care of him uh, as much as I can. Uh, but you know, he's lived a good life so far, so I'm not really. I wouldn't be too bummed out if he dies. Um, so yeah, and Ditto is still here too. Ditto Eevee, that is. Um, but he's sleeping. So yeah. Thank you very much again. I, you know, I, I can't say that enough. I'm gonna go. It's starting to get super hot in here. You can tell my like I'm starting to talk slower because like my brain is starting to fry. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna cut this, turn my fan on, and start editing this monster of an episode. If he's still watching to this point, again, you guys are the best. If there is, give me like brick emojis. I think there's a brick wall emoji. Give me a brick wall emoji and poop emojis because there's just, just shit ton of bricks. Uh, and yeah, that's it. See you later. Peace. Woo.